and the 35th ministerial nominee. We'll now be going or looking forward to the last nominee for the day, the only female among those that have been billed to appear before the Senate today for the confirmation hearing, Aisha Abubakar. And uh, we'd just like to remind you that Aisha Abubakar petition against her. The Ethics Committee received that petition, looked into it, and has presented the petition today. And um, we were informed by the Senate that the petition has been withdrawn. But that report has been laid. It's still going to be considered. We will get ready for her now as she comes in. She's the last nominee that will go through the confirmation hearing for today and the last nominee of all the names sent by President Muhammad Buhari for the confirmation before the Senate. And um, when this, uh, when she completes her own turn, it will now be time for the Senate to take a vote on all the names that have come forward. And there you have her, Madam Aisha Bakker, making her way down into the chamber followed by the senior special advisor to the president on the National Assembly Affairs. She's now going to walk to the... She's taking her bow before the Senate president, going to repeat that before the majority leader and the deputy Senate president, then before the minority leader before she takes her stand. The last nominee for the day taking her stand to, come to begin her confirmation here. Distinguished, distinguished colleagues, distinguished colleagues, the ministerial nominee that we have before us is Aisha Abubakar. Aisha Abubakar, you are welcome. We have all got your CV. Um, why don't you just give us a brief, brief introduction of yourself. You don't need to talk at length of what is already in your CV. If there's something you think we've missed out on your CV, or there's something in particular that you want to emphasize on, this is a very, this is a very gender-friendly chamber on both sides, on both sides of the divide. And the other side will always let us know how gender-friendly is with the way they ask their questions. So, Tell us if you tell us a bit about yourself. Thank you. Distinguished President of the Senate, Dr. Walker Okola Saraki, Distinguished Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ike Ikuramadu, Principal Officers of the Senate, and all other distinguished senators. Good afternoon. Kindly permit me to specially recognize the distinguished senators from my home state of Sokoto, distinguished Senator Aliyu Wamagatakardawamako, Sarkinya Uman Sokoto, distinguished Senator Ibrahim Gobir, Sardawla Sokoto, distinguished Senator Ibrahim Abdullahi Dambaba, who represents my own senatorial zone. Also allow me to send special greetings to all the female Amazons in this house. I would like to give thanks to the Almighty Allah for allowing us to witness this day. My sincere and deep gratitude goes to His Excellency, President Muhammad Buhari, for the honor and privilege of nominating me as the Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I also wish to thank my dear father, Alhaji Abubakar Alhaji, Sardano of Sokoto, 
for the good upbringing, values instilled in me, and the privilege of a sound education that has made it possible for me to stand before this fellow chamber today. Distinguished Senators, my name is Aisha Abubakar. I attended Corona School, Victoria Island, Lagos, where I proceeded to Queen's College, Yaba, Lagos, to attend my secondary school. <laughs> These early years exposed me to the richness and strength of our diverse culture, which remains untapped. I hold a bachelor's degree in politics with international relations from the University of Warwick and a master's degree in uh, development studies from the University of Leeds, both in the United Kingdom. Over the years, I have attended several professional courses on SME development, microfinance, and organizational transformation. I am also a certified associate member of the International Professional Managers Association, UK. Over 20 years' experience in both the public and private sectors, I am currently serving as a pioneer director at the Pension Transitional Arrangement Directorate. It's called PITAD. <clears throat> PITAD is an agency of the federal government that is responsible for pension administration of the defined benefit scheme. That is for pensioners that retired before 30th of June 2007, as well as retired and retiring heads of service and permanent secretaries. It was established to address the numerous irregularities in pension payments and gratuities. Before that, I served as the Managing Director CEO of Abuja Enterprise Agency of the Federal Capital Territory. AEA is the FCT's vehicle for developing small and medium enterprises. Its focus involves facilitating financial access to small businesses, especially in the area, and then capacity building, especially in the area of entrepreneurship development, support services, for the sustainability of these businesses. Under my watch, our efforts at AEA was recognized for being a model for entrepreneurship development as a way of lifting people and communities out of poverty. For this, the Global Poverty Project awarded us with a present, uh, award, us, awarded us with an award called the Citizens Project Award for Entrepreneurship Innovation in New York in 2013. This award was presented to us by Mohammed Yunis the chairman of the Grameen Bank. Between the years 1997 and 1999, I briefly served as an operations risk manager at the African International Bank at its headquarters in Lagos. Between 1993 and 1997, I worked in the African Development Bank at its own headquarters in Abidjan as a senior bilateral officer. There, I gained extensive knowledge in promoting economic development and fostering social progress. By God's grace, if I'm confirmed as a minister, I will promote proven socioeconomic models that will create wealth, uh, wealth, sustainable economic development and growth, reduce the widening gap of inequality, and improve the living standards of Nigerians by enhancing the ability of small and medium enterprises to participate better in the growth of the domestic economy for self-reliance and export. The government can achieve this by investing in creating a more enabling environment for small and medium enterprises to access to markets, both local and foreign, power, transportation, innovative technology, and venture capital. These enterprises provide the block of employment opportunities, especially for the young people of Nigeria. I will bring my experience to bear in working towards making Nigeria one of the preferred investment destinations in the world. I also intend to contribute to the implementation of relevant policies which will attract investors, boost industrialization, increase trade and exports. These, I believe, will complement the government's ongoing programs the last page, towards job creation and poverty elevation. Such efforts will enforce the nation's integration into the global market, taking full advantage of globalization. Thank you, my distinguished senator. Senator Mr. President, as a gen uh, my name is uh, Piodun Olujimi. I represent Ekiti South Senatorial District of Ekiti State. Um, because we are a gender sensitive uh, chamber, and the mood is that there are only six women amongst the 36 nominees, I wish to ask this distinguished Senate and Senator Gubil. Has been the who brought all the petitions and has withdrawn them to kindly ask the Senate to 
allow her to take the bow. Thank you very much. Distinguished Senate Leader. Uh, distinguished Senator, my name is Mohamed Ali Dume. I second the motion. <laughs> nominee, Aisha, come and take your bow.